welcome to another presentation from IBM Netcool Support YouTube channel. I am Faizat Ahmad and I will demonstrate to you one of the most common problems when running WebTop OS Racing tool on the web GUI. In this example, I will be using web GUI version 7.4. Before we start, allow me to quickly explain about this tool. When objects such as conversions and users are created or modified on either the web GUI server or omnibus object server, the changes will only be synchronized to one another every one hour. This one hour interval is the default auto synchronization frequency for web GUI. So if you're testing object synchronization between web GUI and the object server, changing the frequency and having to restart the web GUI server is not just going to cut it. This is where WebTop OS Racing tool comes in handy. As easy as it may sound, out of the box, WebTop OS Racing tool must be configured before it can be executed successfully. If you simply run the tool, you will get an error saying unauthorized. Later in this video, I will show you how the error looks like on the console and where you must configure the user in order for the tool to work. Before running the tool, please ensure that the web GUI server is up and running. You can either do a ps-ef and grab server1 or the official method which is running server status.sh server1 and then head to web GUI home directory slash bin this is where the tool is located so when this tool is not configured simply running it will give you the following error http server written unexpected status unauthorized zero method was fully executed for the tool to be executed successfully, you need to first configure the username and the password in wapi.init. This file is located in web GUI home, wapi etc directory. So when you open the file, just look for the parameter called wapi user and wapi password. Normally, you will have to set these parameters to tipadmin and tipadmin's password since tipadmin would be the default web GUI administrator. However, another requirement for the tool to be successfully executed is the user that you just set in WAPI user and WAPI password parameters must have ncw underscore admin role in the web GUI server. So if you log in to the web GUI as an administrator go to users and then user roles look for your tip admin user In my example, it has other roles which is actually not needed. So let's just uncheck those other roles and make sure it has ncw admin and ncw user. I added ncw user as one of the roles because by default for web GUI users to work, they need to have at least ncw underscore user role and then based on the type of user whether the user is an admin or an operator or just a read only user then you can select ncw admin or netcool read write or netcool read only after assigning ncw admin role save the page and now let's go back to the console and retest the tool When the tool runs successfully, you will see the message saying one method was fully executed. From here, you can proceed to verify that the changes were synchronized between web GUI and the object server. I hope this video has been helpful to you and thank you very much for watching.